Good morning, everyone. I recorded the video for the Thor What If last week. I thought I uploaded it. I could have sworn I uploaded it. It's no longer on my computer. So, quick, I loved it. It was awesome. That is the real Thor. That is the Thor that w we have here. Thor is barrel chested. He he's like that meme that's going around right now. That that is Thor. Red hair, red beard, bushy, party party party, and his partying bud is Loki. So I love this episode. I absolutely adored it. And he is an only child. I mean, there is Baldar, but then Baldar gets uh, by Loki. And, uh, oh yeah. So it's just absolutely hilarious watching this. I was just laughing through all of it because that's Thor. That's my Thor. That's my dude. <laughs> it's just, oh my God, it was great. And it, it was fun, the little twist. Darcy being there with Howard the Duck and freaking Grandmaster. It was just, it was great. All the cameos. Um, Korg with the freaking pacifier. Oh my god, it was great. Um, the one-on-one -on -one with um, Captain Marvel and Thor and they're fighting. and It was great. And of course, the reveal that Ultron breaks through reality and he has all the Infinity Stones and Vision's body. And it left us on that cliffhanger that then starts this week's, which was like, oh my god, you know. Um, it starts with uh, Natasha and Clint fighting for their lives against a horde in a decimated Russia uh, because Ultron won. The Avengers never got the casket. They never got... Vision's body away. So. Which I love when people call in the middle of recording. Clip. So yeah, they didn't, they didn't, Thor never charged him and they never created a Jarvis mind gym hybrid. So Vision gets his body decimates the planet via getting control of the nuclear codes. We see Tony die yet again. And after he's created peace, you see a portal open up behind him and out walks Thanos. <laughs> he's got five of the gems. We now see that actually Vision could have taken out Thanos like that. Because he does. He's just <laughs> dead. Ooh. And, and it's funny because right off the bat he scans them. He's like, oh, get rid of that thing and I'll take the gems. And he realizes he's got an entire universe that he could bring to peace by eradicating everything and everybody. And then we get a montage of him literally going through and uh, annihilating everything. And then during all of this, you're getting these little inputs from the Watcher. And after he eradicates everything, you know, this is the, the part with Thanos and he just, you know, Thanos is gone. And he realizes it's done. And he has that moment of, I've achieved everything. Now what do I do? And the Watcher, as always, is narrating and he hears him. I love the animation of seeing Ultron going, wait a minute, I'm hearing something. And you can just see the minute details they do on his eyes as he's realizing, I'm hearing somebody. And they're talking. Where are they? I can't see them. And he turns around and the Watcher just goes, wait, what? He can see me. Oh my god. And it's just like a callback to Doctor Strange. 
when Doctor Strange was like, wait a minute. So it would seem the more powerful you become, you have an ability to see the Watcher and hear him. And then starts the tag team chase of, I keep wanting to call him Vision, of Ultron trying to get to the Watcher and realizing there's other realities. And in tandem to this, you see the Watcher not interfering, but it's a hilarious scene where Natasha and Clint have gone to the archives in Moscow and are looking for, you know, hope, basically. He's like, there, there's something here. It, it will help you. It will help you get rid of him. It, it, it will work. And he's just sitting there going, no, no, it's right there, right there, right there. Just do it. And you're like, just do it. Break the wall and tell them, tell them. And, you know, poor Clint, everything he's been through. And he's just like, he's at that stage he was in Endgame. You know, because his entire family's gone. The Avengers are gone. Everybody's gone, you know. And to his knowledge, him and Tatasha is all that's left. And he's done. Uh, literally. And he's just like... <sighs> The watcher's frustration, like, no, no, it was right there. And they find it. And it's Zola, which is not a digital program. And they go and they upload him to an arrow and they jab him into one of the robots. And that whole freaking thing is hilarious with his reactions and everything. And his inability to get in, to link up with Ultron because he's not in the known universe. He's elsewhere, which then we get into this whole fight sequence between the Watcher and Ultron. And the Watcher's extremely powerful. And he's going head to head with Ultron. And Ultron's winning. I mean, there's a scene where he looks like Galacticus, but he's eating an entire universe. Not a planet, but a universe. And it's just like, oh my god. And they're bashing through different realities and you, you gotta stop and wonder about what those realities are going what the hell is this and there's one where steve rogers <laughs> is being sworn in as president of the united states which <laughs> um and you see scrolls you see all these different races as they're bashing through they end up on this beautiful planet which then ultron decimates and turns into a desert um and then he grabs a hold of the watcher like this and basically starts to destroy him and the watcher gets away and does this weird prismatic uh thing around himself and poofs and i thought it was the end of the episode and then it cuts into him just kind of sitting there going you can almost read his mind going, I can't do this, I can't do it. And then behind him, you see the Doctor Strange with the three eyes that was locked in his own separate universe that wasn't part of the multiverse anymore. It was basically snipped off because it was a dead universe. But one of the most powerful beings is trapped in that. And he, the Watcher finally makes a decision and that great reaction from Doctor Strange, I want to hear you say it. And it's basically, yeah, I, I need to, I get a, I have to help, I have to fight to save all the realities. So my prediction, this episode was showing us the first fight of a three episode arc. So the next f episode will be them gathering together all the different heroes they need from the different universes, all the most powerful beings they can find. And we've seen the setup in the trailers where they do the Avengers spin, but it's different heroes. So he's gonna get Captain Carter, I'm assuming. I thought I saw a Hulk in there, but I, I might be wrong. Uh, there was a Thor, there was a Gamora, there was Chadwick's uh, Star-Lord. I don't remember really seeing anybody else. Oh, those were the ones that really stuck out to me. So I think the next episode will be them 
skipping through different realities, recruiting people to come and fight. And I know there's more than those ones I just stated because you could see the backsides of them. I can swear one of them looked like an Iron Man, but I'm not sure. But it was a great episode. I have a friend, though, who went, mm, they did it in the comics. I'm like, all of these have been in some form or another in the comics. So, what else? We don't, who cares? It's still enjoyable to see it in animated form and seeing the twist they're going with. So, I think the next episode will be the gathering of the heroes and they will have interactions with Ultron during those and they're going to be trying to save all of the realities. Um, I'm thinking he's going to get a Natasha from that world because she's it, I'm assuming. And I mean, it was really sad seeing the reverse of Endgame where this time around she's holding on to Clint and Clint's like I'm done I can't keep doing this and then that be it's a beautiful shot I want it as a desktop of him falling with the arrow shooting in it at the horde of Ultrons coming up it is a beautiful shot this series has had some beautiful imagery that is just amazing and I'm hoping they put out a, a pack of just wallpapers because there are some beautiful artwork. I mean, just absolutely beautiful. But yeah, so I think the next episode will be the gathering of all the heroes to set up for the last episode where they're going to have the huge fight of all our heroes against Ultron. And then probably the last 10 minutes will be putting everybody back in their places and repairing what they can and maybe some fallout for the watcher don't know what do you guys think because i don't know where it's going to go after this i'm figuring they're going to get a second season um and then of course we're going to have hawkeye after that so i'm really looking forward to that and Boba Fett is going to be coming out. So we're going to have some really great shows coming out. And I'm finding it really sad that the really good shows are now from streaming companies and not the networks. I also have Taskmaster today. Yay! I also have a refrigerator that went boom! <laughs> Follow my vlogs for that story. Uh, as of right now, I just got a call from the management company or not the management company, from the people, the appliance company, not my management company, but the appliance people telling me what was going on. Management company can't be bothered. All they care about is money, incoming money. <sighs> but yeah, let me know down below what you all think. What do you think is going to happen in the next episode? Comment, hit the like button, and as always, subscribe. And no, I have not yet figured out how to do the picture-in-picture. Picture. And especially now that I don't have the Sony Vegas Pro. So, I'll be working on that probably today. Since I can't go out shopping, I can't do anything because the refrigerator went boom. See you next time. Oh, subscribe!